Good day, and welcome to Reflection for Putting the Puzzle Together, Organizational Behavior. Uh, we looked at a lot of things over the past few weeks. We, we looked at a global mindset. We've looked at the concept of diversity and inclusion. And you've reflected on how creative you are. You looked at orientation to change. What are your core values? You said what's important to you. How do you deal with ambiguity? Myers-Briggs. What is your different learning style? What are your listening skills? How powerful are you? And the last one is emotions influence on decision making. So you've been reflecting over the semester on some of these key things that will make you a more successful individual, either as a team member or as a leader in your organization. These are all life skills, but we've looked at a lot of them. In the last reflection, we started to tie them together a little bit. And I mentioned to a number of you folks, there's no right or wrong answer around this. It's your perspective in your point of view. It's who we, how you are. What do you need to know? Why do we need to know this? Well, because we can focus and build on our strengths and we can develop an improvement plan for those things that we'd like to build up. And one of the things we come back to is, is Dr. Deming is continuous improvement, which is the plan, do, check, act. So this continuing cycle, what to do, how to do it, do what was planned, doing things according to the plan, check to see does it work, is it working, and then how do you improve next time. So this is reflection four where we try to tie everything together. Be patient, just like a puzzle. It takes time for all the pieces to come together. It's always the small pieces that make the big picture. Life isn't about finding pieces of a puzzle. It's by creating and putting these exceptional pieces together, of which we talked about. You don't just need one of them, you need all. So you're putting it together. What makes you unique as an individual? With that as sort of an overview, what do you need to do? First thing, gather information by reviewing everything you did for each section. Then, identify two strengths and two opportunities for personal growth in each section, except for core values. Your core values are your core value. Um, then, summarize the information. After you go through all these categories, list them out, two and two. I don't want three and three, two and two. Summarize all the information. Identify your key strengths and weaknesses. Not all of them but the top ones. This will be a little harder as you try to identify the most important ones. Okay, what's the Stan plan, Stan? Well, develop a plan for your personal growth over the next year. I'm only looking for one year. Identify two specific things you want to improve on in the next year. Two specific. Indicate specifically what you will do to develop these skills and how will you monitor this. How will you know if you are successful? Okay, so I want you to develop a personal development plan for your growth, for your professional skills, and for your future success. If you don't have a plan, you're not gonna be able to move forward. So if you don't have a plan, any old thing will get you there. So. I think this is important. I'm gonna remember these, and perhaps when you graduate, you might have me asking you. Um, so what's the plan? Once you do it, sounds like a plan, so do it. The next thing I'd like you to do is come together. Who are you? Put the pieces together. Create a collage of who you are, okay? This collage can be photos, memes, words, pictures, whatever it is to create a visual picture of who you are based on your strengths that you have identified in the past three 
reflections. And you want to put it all together. And that's the assignment. You can, of course, use, encourage you to use audio, visual, whatever works for you to create this picture. Make sure you submit it at the time indicated. And if you have any questions, please let me know.